Hi Cunningham kids. Hi Tucker kids. Hi Kaliga kids. Hi Glover kids. Today we are doing a sea turtle craft. You will need two paper plates, a piece of paper, some tape, and some markers to color your turtle with. So I have some greens and yellows and a, a black and a purple just to change things up a little bit. You'll also need a pair of scissors and possibly a pencil. Okay, pencil optional, but you can use a marker instead of a pencil if you don't have a pencil. Okay, so you're going to take your two paper plates and you're going to place them opposite each other like this, like a flying saucer. This is going to be our turtle's body. And we're going to use a few pieces of tape to tape the plates together on the outside. So I'll probably use four pieces. So one, two, three, four. That should be enough to keep it together. Okay, so on your plain piece of paper, you're going to draw uh, the pieces of the turtles that you need. So the first piece would be uh, that turtle's head. I'm going to do it with the marker so you can see it a little better on the video. When I draw with pencil, it's too light and you won't be able to see it very well. So if I'm going to do the head, I might do something like this. So like that shape. And then I can cut it out. And I also want to do um, his four fins. So fin would look sort of like this. Turn it over so you can see. So there's a fin. And you'll need four of those. So you can either use a pencil or a marker, draw the different parts of the turtle on the paper, and then cut them out. So of course one head four fins and you'll also need a tail and the tail would look like this. And that's his tail. And that's the end of his tail right there. Okay. So I've already cut out all my pieces just to make the video go a little bit faster so you're not watching me cut everything out. So here's my head. Here's my four fins. And here's my tail. So I'm going to use the tape again to attach all the parts. So I'm going to try to put his head um, sort of like in between the plates. I can just slide it in between. There's enough space I can just get it in there like that. And then on the back or his, his tummy side, I can put the tape so you can't see that, that piece of tape. And I'll do the same thing with his fins and his tail. I'll try to slide them between the plates. And I want to make sure that his fins are going the right way. Because his fins have a bit of a curve to them, so I want to make sure that they're going the right way. So like that. I have to put it here. On the back. So I've got one side. I'll do his other fins and then I can do the tail. Didn't quite cut this one all the way. There 
last one. And now his tail. So his tail's gonna go right there. So now I'm going to draw a design on his shell. Now you can look at pictures of sea turtles that you can find on the internet or if you have a book or a magazine that has turtles in it, you can copy the design that you see on a real turtle. I'm just going to make mine up. Um, it'll still look like a turtle shell but of course I, I don't have a picture to look at so I'm just going to do the best I can. So I'm going to start with sort of a geometric shape right in the middle of his shell. And then I'm going to keep extending the shapes out to the edge of his shell. So I use a different color. It's kind of easy to do on the plate because the plate will have like different sort of indentations in it and you can kind of make your design according to those indentations and I think it, it I find it convenient that I can see like a line right here on the plate and there's another line like right here um, I've got a, like a lime green sharpie I'm gonna try that So the design that you make on your turtle's shell can be as creative as you want. You can make it up, you can look at a photo reference, whatever you like. I'm making mine up. And I don't think I'll have time in the video to color in every single shape, but um, I'm definitely going to do that probably later. And let's see, I could do black for like the edges, like down here. Some of my shapes are big, some of my shapes are small. You can use paint to color this in. You don't have to use markers. If you've got a watercolor set, that would look really cool. Watercolors on the paper plate, that would look really nice. And you could also do some, uh, some patterns on his fins. You can keep it simple. And of course, on his head, you can do some too. You can give him some eyes, which I'm going to do in a minute. I'll do, I'll use my Sharpie and then I think I'll give him purple eyes just to change the color a little bit. And then I'll do some purple. Oh, actually I should do black pupils, right? And then he needs some nostrils, right? There he is. But it should look really cool once it's all colored in. So have fun with your sea turtle craft.
Okay, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, have fun coloring him in. It should take you a while. And that's why I mentioned the paint. Like if you, if you don't have the patience to color in every single shape on his shell, I would definitely use paint. Like if you have watercolors, I have a set right here. Like watercolors like this. You, those would be able, if you use those, you'd be able to paint him in pretty fast. I mean, that would be a, a, a very fast painting. Okay. So for my next tutorial, um, I think I'm going to show you how to draw Squirt from Finding Dory. So I just wanted to tell you about it and I wanted to show you a picture of Squirt. So if you're interested in um, learning how to draw Squirt from Finding Dory, you should watch my next tutorial. Okay, so all my tutorials are on my YouTube channel. So to get to my YouTube channel, all you have to do is look in the description below this video and you will see a picture of my face. And all you have to do is click on that and then you will see my YouTube channel and all the videos that I've done so far for the after school. So if you've missed any or you heard about somebody making something from my videos and you want to do that project too, all you have to do is look on my channel and you will find it. So that's it for today. Uh, have fun with your sea turtle and I'll see you in the next video.